Hello everybody and welcome back. We have some new Mazda racing equipment. If you guys think Mazda couldn't come out with something even better, we have now the Mazda R5 direct drive racing simulator setup. It is a full wheel setup as well as it's got pedals inside. So we're going to be taking a look at this new Mazda R5 system. Can't wait to get this open and see really what we got. Let's dig into this. This box is extremely large, so we're kind of having to do this standing until we get all the components out of the box, I would assume. So we're going to take a look at what we got inside. And of course, we can already see the signature Mazda Racing little uh, bags that most of the stuff comes in. So this is going to be our wheel. So I can already hear mechanical clicks. And it is a smaller diameter wheel, kind of almost reminisce to, say, I would feel like a G920 wheel or a Thrustmaster wheel. We're going to put this aside and get the rest of the box open. And then we will take a look at all the individual components. What else we got in this box? Of course, we do have our power brick from Mazda. Very nice power brick. Actually, says Mazda on it, too. So I'm wondering if this, this power brick is different than the one for our R9, which I'm assuming it is. So, of course, we're going to be hooking this one up for the r5 put that down to the side and now we get to take out this top piece without trying to make the lid fall down and we got more maza bags and some more items inside this box we're actually gonna like try and brace that up there and we're gonna fold this down I'm trying to make this box not fall on top of me so we have some boxes in here which i believe these are some components oh this is okay so this is actually a, a desk mount a desk clamp so that's kind of cool it comes with a full desk clamp for it so you can just clamp it right to the desk it's got the angled bits and everything like that this is actually a really nice piece of hardware and it's got uh nice clamps very big spanding so you can actually uh take a look at any type of desk really and it's got a little bit of angle to angle the whole plate if you notice it's got a bit of side angle to it so that's pretty cool that it comes with actual mounting for like a desk which this comes with pedals and stuff so it's basically you can take this and have a full setup so we're gonna take a look at some of the other components and i can tell right here this is the r5 and it is so short um definitely excited to open this up but we're gonna put that aside and see what else we got in this box we'll take a look at the full r5 and the wheel so we got some other bits in here of course we have some cable bags and things like that power supply some tools some mounting hardware looks like we got you know an ethernet cord i'm sure that probably goes to the pedal system and of course we have the second cable for our power brick and then we have our cable which is the same cable for like our r5 so we'll be or r9 so we'll be able to use the same power cable that we already have hooked up on the rig for this and then of course we have tools screws hardware and stuff like that inside this bag so we're going to take a look and put this bag to the side and we're going to take a look at what else we got in this so we do have the pedal set in here so we're going to pull this out and we're going to take this box and we're going to put the box down so we're going to take the wrapping off and we have some really really nice really nice pedals and we do have two so we have two pedals on here uh you can get the clutch pedal uh separate but this one comes with two which is more than enough to have gas and brake so we do have some pretty nice pedal setups back there and then we got a throttle plug and what is this wheelbase okay so we have wheelbase plug-in which is probably where that ethernet goes the clutch pedal plug-in and then this i would assume plugs in directly into there so very nice well-constructed pedals really nice big maza plates and actually <laughs> really nice foot plate and all these adjustabilities is what is going to be really awesome being able to put these more center for like racing or when you get the clutch you can put it so you can kind of set them up how you want and like i said the pedals are really nice and big and this is really nice thick aluminum too so we have some really nice pedal sets in this and yep 
Yes. Break. You can definitely tell that one's a break. It's got a little bit more tension than that. So with that being said, with the pedals and the, you know, desktop clamp, that's actually really incredible to get both of those in this kit. So this is basically a box that you can get the R5 system and right away just start driving with it. You don't need anything else. You can have two pedals. You can run it two pedals. Of course, you know, we're going to do some drifting with just two pedals so that I can prove to you. You can drift without anything but this setup. You know, we're going to do it. It's going to bound to happen on the channel. So we're definitely going to do that because why else would we not want to do drifting with just this setup? So we're going to take these pedals off here and we're going to take the clamp off. So now we're going to get into the actual R5. So the R5 is their new budgeter friendly setup. And we're going to take a look and we're going to pull this out. And this thing is so compact. This is incredibly compact. This is half the size of my R9. If you thought like the R, the R9, I was thought was so small and so compact and it was amazing this is this is even smaller same styling same design the logo's in a different place but if you notice on the front on the actual quick release section we have more pins now so we have not just the straight across we have some up and down so i'm assuming that's for other wheels and things like that maybe for the wheel that's in this box but same quality same amazing hardware setup and everything like that this thing is just purely gorgeous and small and it's insane how small it actually is because I thought the R9 was smaller. And we do have on top here, we have screws probably for the digital display and stuff like that. And then, of course, we have our mounting screws on the bottom, which I'm assuming will mount directly really good into my next level chassis. And, of course, we have right there the plug-in for the dash as well as the plug-in for the pedal and then there's our USB and our power and our power button. So same polymer back and, you know, aircraft grade aluminum. Definitely very intrigued to see the quick release. I'm assuming this is the same style quick release as the R9. So I'm assuming all the wheels can fit on this. So now we get to take a look. I'm going to set this aside at the wheel that comes with it. So it comes with a wheel. And now we get to fully take a look at what the wheel looks like so we're gonna slowly uh slip this thing out of here i already feel some leather and some mechanical clicks so we're gonna slide the wheel out and there we have the r5 wheel that comes in there it is about it feels small like uh logitech size so i think this is you know about the same size as like a factory logitech wheel and stuff like that we got a whole bunch of slew of buttons s1 s2 radio button start stop neutral we got a you know we got a d-pad and i'm assuming that doesn't that actually doesn't work and then we have all like controller buttons so it's very very reminiscent of you know entry level style wheels but we still have a display so we still have the display bar across for our uh, rpms and stuff like that we have the same leather style as my cs wheel and then we look at the back we still have aluminum, aircraft grade aluminum with some plastic on there. And then we have the quick lease and there it is. So this has more pins than the standard CS and RS. We have same push in pins, just like the other ones with the quick release system. Don't do this at home. Yep. Same style quick release. There we go. Like I said, don't do that. I've, I've, I know where my fingers go and I know where I'm not going to get snapped newer style Mazda quick release it looks like it's a little bit longer than the other ones so we have some basic paddles which are actually feel really good and you know for their entry level wheel setup this thing is actually pretty insane this thing is going to actually probably feel really cool driving it's very sleek very slim and cool looking and very just I like the black styling because I liked it on my CS wheel and stuff like that. So for case of comparison, we're going to grab the RS wheel. So the RS wheel. Yeah, so it's 
relatively smaller than the RS wheel and stuff like that. But like I said, this feels like it's the same size as, say, the uh, Logitech wheel, which, you know, if you get a Logitech G920 or D29 or a Thrustmaster, it's very similar. But this, the Mazda system, has a quick release, comes with pedals and everything like that. So I definitely am super excited for this new R5 system because having, you know, this quick release system, let's see, check, see if this works just as simple as the other ones. Yep, just like that. Simple click on for this wheel setup, just like the other ones, and then a quick, actually this, this quick release is a little bit tougher, I feel, it's a little bit more of a, a pull. There it is. A little bit more of a pull. The spring tension in this one feels a little bit more than the RS MICS. And it does look totally different than the original quick releases. If you notice, the original quick releases are uh, narrower. The collars are narrower. And this collar is much beefier and bigger. But it's the same size because this should click right on to the um, R9 also. Because I guess I could take the R5 here. I could bring over my RS wheel. Yep. Perfect click. Perfect fit. So it does clip right on the RS wheel as well as the CS wheel will clip right onto the R5. So the R5, very small, very compact. Going to get this thing on the rig and definitely give this thing a rip and give it a first test. Because I'm excited to see... What this little package, this little Mazda R5 can do and how this wheel works and how it feels because I feel like it's still going to be super awesome. Even though it's small, it'll be great for racing, but I feel like with having the display and everything on it and all these buttons, functions, pits, all, box, pit, park, neutral, wipers, camera, radio, start, and I'm sure you could just you know have endless combinations of buttons because there is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, a cable to my PC from my R9. It bolted right up underneath. We got the two pedals installed down here, nice and centered up for perfect for racing style, which we're going to be doing a little bit of. And of course, we're going to be drifting with two pedals, but I wanted to center them up so that it was easier for both feet on there at simultaneously. So we got it all hooked up. We're going to switch back to the game cam and we're going to get going. So we are here on the game cam. So we're going to get the wheel hooked in. We do have our tracking of lights and we do, I believe, have it's set up for a shifter. I'm not sure where we have all our settings in a set of Corsa, but we're just gonna go full send and get a little bit of a first impressions of it. Oh, cool. So it is set up on our uh, paddles. So the tracking, the lights, is everything is fully working with this R5. Pedals do feel actually quite good. And initial feedback of this, it actually feels really nice for not doing any fine tuning out of the box, kind of just running the drift tune, which is not what I should be running on a race car, but the feedback in the R5 feels really nice. and. You know, I was wondering how it was going to feel being the R5, a little bit lower the feedback, but it's actually very responsive. Now, it is something I'm getting used to with having two pedals, not three. I'm so used to having a clutch pedal. But the pedals feel very linear and very smooth. Uh, the brake pedal is, a, is stiff, but it doesn't have like a hard stop point. It's kind of like stiff all the way through, which may take a little bit getting used to. But overall, it feels really nice. Oh, <laughs> we almost lost it there. So you know we're going to be doing a full episode with this. And we're going to go full sideways with this. With two pedals and this 
setup so you guys can see can you drift on a factory r5 setup with the factory wheel and everything the wheel does feel really good actually you know i thought it was gonna feel a little bit small but like i said it very reminiscent of a g920 feel so it's not too small but it's also not super large so it's gonna be something that oh, that was the wrong gear something that i'm really gonna need to feel with drifting if it's gonna feel kind of weird drifting being so small i'm not even paying attention to my shift light but we have it and it's flashing so overall impressions of the r5 in the first impressions we're doing a lot of other impression videos with this with drifting and stuff like that big thank you to maza for sending this out for me to play with and test jesus <laughs> oh man we're gonna be doing full impressions but overall impressions of this wheel from the first feels of it the r5 is such a compact design and it's very powerful for such a little package and i didn't think the wheelbase could get any smaller from that r9 that i have this r5 got a lot of force feedback too and i believe we're only down in like 60 percent in the game so this has way more feedback to go and it's something that we're going to be look, diving into more and more here on the channel so if you guys want to keep seeing more about the r5 make sure you guys follow me on all social media all that you found in the description box below if you guys are thinking about picking up your own maza racing equipment i thought we were gonna die but we actually got the brakes in the <laughs> links are in the description box below for the r5 system as well as all the other maza products link down below you can go through the referral code of evil rabbit and you know so they know who sent you over there to pick up some amazing gear from maza i didn't think they could come out with anything cooler than they already have but they've come out with so much amazing sim gear and i can't thank them enough for being a partner of myself and the channel i'm actually uh quite impressed with how this is driving right now like I said, make sure you follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing, we got another one coming for you with another amazing piece of Mazda hardware. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next amazing piece of Mazda hardware that we will be opening up here on the channel next. And once again, thank you to Mazda Racing and everybody over to Mazda Racing Camp for hooking me up with this R5 and these pedals. I'd get down. I'd get a clutch pedal on here if I had a clutch, and this would feel pretty awesome for out-of-the-box pedals and an out-of-the-box system. You could get this system, plug it in, and get on the track. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.